Okay, figure 5 shows three point charges that lie in the X and Y plane in a vacuum. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the net electrostatic force on Q2. Uh, so we want to find uh, net uh, or total force on Q2. Okay, so let, let us highlight the keywords here. Uh, net uh, force on on who on q2 uh, net means the total force yeah total force or we can say is a resultant resultant force okay force means uh f uh, yeah so on q2 uh, specifically on q2 only so we only draw the force on q2 lah. we only draw the force on q2 don't draw the force on uh q1 or q3 okay so this question actually asks for resultant force on Q2. Okay. So uh, before, okay, now let us, uh, okay, our focus is this one, yeah. Q2. Okay. Now let us draw, yeah, draw the forces on Q2. Okay. What are the forces involved? Okay. Uh, for force, uh, electrostatic force, uh, we know that we have attractive force and repulsive force. Attractive force is if uh, unlike charges, uh, opposite charge, uh, positive negative charge, they attract each other. But if you have uh, same charges, and we, I mean uh, same sign, positive positive, negative negative, they repel each other. Yeah, they repel each other. So uh, uh, if positive positive negative negative, the forces repel a repulsive force uh, if opposite charge they attract uh, same charges they repel okay so uh, now let's let us look uh, q2 with q1 uh, between q2 and q1 they are opposite charge positive and negative so they so they attract they attract okay so let us draw it out first so between q2 and q2 Q1, they attract each other. I can write it like this. Yeah. Uh, so this one is this one should be F uh, one on two. Okay, one F one on two, and this one should be F uh, two on one. Uh, okay. And then we also look at between two and three. Yeah, two and three. Our focus is our focus is two lah. Yeah, our focus is two. Uh, two and three also opposite charge also also attract uh, so also attract so uh, they also attract each other so we can write this as uh, f three two and this one is f uh, two three okay f three on two and this is one is uh, f two on three okay but since our focus is uh, only this discharge, only discharge. So we can actually okay. So our focus is only on Q two, only on Q two. So our our we only consider F one two and F three two. Ah, so the other forces on Q one and Q three. Uh, can be neglected, can be rubbed off. Yeah? We don't need them. Uh, we don't need them. We also, we also don't need the, the force between uh, Q, Q1 and Q3. Uh, they have uh, same charge, uh, I mean, same sign. Uh, they repel each other, isn't it? They repel each other. But this one, even though uh, this one's uh, not in our concern because it, these two forces are not in on uh, Q2. Okay? So this also. Uh, no, no need to consider. So we only uh, consider F12 and F32 because they fall on charge Q2. So we need to find the resultant force or net force or total force on Q2 which is a uh, resultant force of between F12 and F32. Understand? Uh, okay, now let us move on. Now we need to find out what is the value of F12 and F32. Okay, we need to find out. So we need to calculate first F12 and later on we need to find out what is the value of F32 also. Okay, so let us use the formula for uh, Coulomb's law. Uh, 
uh, Coulomb's law electrostatic force is KQQ over R square. Okay, so KQQ over R square. So since it's between 1 and 2, so it's Q1 and Q2 and distance between 1 and 2. Uh, and then for F32 will be KQ3 Q2 over R23 square. Uh, yeah, this distance between uh, 2 and 3. Now let us substitute the value. Okay, so for K value, K value is a constant value. Okay, you can find in the list of constant. Uh, remember, don't, don't use the Boltzmann constant 1.38. That one is for uh, other chapters. We're going to use the constant for Coulomb's law, which is uh, uh, this one, k equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, which is 9 exponent 9. And this is the one, yeah? Don't take the wrong value. Take 9 exponent 9. So, okay, 9 exponent 9. And then uh, q1, q1 is, um, okay. Again, this one, we only consider the magnitude of force, and this is a vector. Uh, I did mention in my notes, I did mention in my notes uh, when talking about vectors like force and electric field, the vectors, uh, when we calculate the magnitude, we ignore the sign of charge. Okay, but when we talk about potential and potential energy, scalar quantity, uh, to find the magnitude of the scalar quantity, we must have the sign on the charge. Uh, that's the difference between vector and scalar quantity. Okay. For vector quantity, the mag when we calculate the magnitude, we ignore the ignore the sign of charge. Okay, so for we know that uh, Q one is a negative charge, but because uh, the modulus is a positive value, okay, modulus is a positive value, so the charge we just ignore the negative sign. Yeah, on Q one. Eh, sorry, Q one. Uh, so ignore the negative sign on q1 so uh um all right um there you can choose and not using okay so we ignore the negative sign on the q1 so okay we just put six micro column uh, and some of this is um you know this is a uh, micro so you need to change to uh si unit column okay so uh, we get so this one just put positive value yeah just put positive six micro micro is neg exponent negative six okay uh, okay column and then uh, q2 q2 is a positive charge okay never mind it's also for micro column so i need to change to si unit column okay then uh, divided by the distance between distance between uh, the q1 and q2 okay distance between q1 and q2 which is 20 centimeter oh uh, this one also need to change to uh, si unit meter okay need to change to meter uh, change to meter so okay uh, 20 centimeter so change to meter divided by 100 so it's 0 0.2 meter 0 0.2 meter okay uh, don't forget the square. Many students forget about the square after they put the distance. Uh, they forget about this square. This is so important, the square. Yeah? Uh, next is uh, calculate the value. Okay, calculate the value. Calculate. Uh, exponent 9. Apply 6 exponent uh, negative 6. Uh, 4 exponent negative 6. Divide by... Uh, 0 0.2 square okay so the answer is uh, 5.4 newton okay 5.4 newton uh, okay and then how about uh, f32 f32 on a second okay now f32 uh, q2 and q3 yeah, let's calculate. Uh, K is 9 exponent 9. And then Q3, Q3 is a negative charge also. So we also ignore the, uh, ignore the negative sign. Uh, ignore the negative sign on Q1 and Q3. Yeah. Uh, also ignore the 
negative sign because we just want to find the magnitude. Okay, we just want to find the magnitude. To find the magnitude for a vector quantity. Okay, just ignore the negative sign on the charge. Okay, so uh, just put positive charge. Okay, just put as uh, positive 5 micro coulomb. Micro is negative 6. And then Q2 again is a positive charge for micro. So 4 micro, negative 6 also. Okay, divide by the distance between 2 and 3. 2 and 3 is 12 centimeter. So it's a change to meter is 0 0.12 meter. Uh, change is 0 0.12 meter. Uh, and then square, don't forget the square. Yeah, square the distance. Okay, calculate. Okay. Then. Okay, it is a twelve point five Newton. Okay. So, uh, I got uh, this one. F12 is uh, 5.4 and F32 is 12.5. So once we got this, uh, the magnitude of each force, now we can find the resultant. Uh, how to find the resultant? Very simple. You just use the table okay, to find the resultant. Yeah? Draw a ta XY table uh, to find, uh, find the XY component. Okay? Let me draw it out the table for you. Okay, so I have drawn this uh, table. So uh, this uh, over here is the XY component. Uh, here I want to list out the forces. We have uh, F12. Uh, F12 is uh, 5.4 Newton. And we have also F32. Okay, these are the forces on charge Q2. Okay, on charge Q2. Uh, so F32 is 12.5 uh, Newton. Okay, 12.5 Newton. So now I want to find the resultant force on each component. Okay, resultant force. So uh, F12, F12, okay. So we have um, uh, F12 is, you know, uh, F12, uh, find the X component. Uh, so here we ha actually have this. You know the x axis and y axis. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is the x and this is the y. Like that, yeah. X and y axis. So F one two. Ah, uh, okay. So you can see we have 70, 17 degree with the y axis. So to find the x component of F one two is ah uh, F one two sine seventeen. Ah, uh, also remember. You use the direction. Uh, don't forget about the direction. Let me see. Where's our direction? Ah, this one. Okay. Uh, we use a positive negative sign to represent the direction. Okay. Uh, let me show you. This one. Ah, okay. Don't forget about the direction. The, we use, although we don't use the, post, the negative sign in the charge, but we, we use the negative sign to represent the direction. Okay. Positive force means a uh, positive sign means the force is going to the right. Negative uh, force means that the force is going to the left. Uh, positive force also means going upward. Negative force means going downward. Uh, so we use the positive negative sign for direction, but we don't use it to calculate uh, the magnitude. Now we don't use the the positive negative sign in the charge in the charge to calculate the magnitude but we use a positive negative sign uh, to represent the direction okay remember that okay so now uh, let's look at uh, this one f12 so we can say uh, these two forces i can say is uh, going to the right here is positive positive but going left and downward is negative okay so Look at F12. F12, the S component is in the S component of F12 is to the right. So it's positive. Uh, positive F12 sine 17. Uh, so it is this one is positive 
F12, F12 is uh, 5.4 Newton. Okay, 5.4 Newton. And then 17 degrees. So it's sine 17. Uh, why sine? Big Y sign because it has no angle. No angles. Uh, we use this angle. So it's uh, opposite. Uh, it's like uh, sine 17. Yeah. Uh, in short, I can say. And then uh, Y component. Y component is uh, Y component of F12 is going upward. So it's positive also. Positive force. So it, it is positive force. Uh, F12 is 5.4. And then uh, it is. This y component is adjacent, adjacent, uh, adjacent to the angle. So it's uh, cosine 17. Uh, or we can say got angle, got angle, so use cos. No angle, use sine. Uh, that's, that's it, yeah? Got angle, use cos. Or adjacent, adjacent to the angle, use cosine, yeah? Cosine 17. All this uh, resolve, resolve vector. Resolve vector is actually in semester one. You already learned about that. Yeah. Resolving vector, find the resultant vector. Okay. So refer back to your semester one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, how about the F32? F32 is going to the right. Uh, F32 only has X component, no Y component. So for F32, the Y, the, the, you know, the, the Y component is zero. Uh, zero because only has X component and the X component is going to the right. Is going to the right so it's positive force uh, so this one is positive uh, positive no angle it's just the x component so f32 is 12.5 12.5 totally in x component uh, okay so now total up uh, total up and you get here you get the resultant fx so what's the value uh, let's find out uh, make sure your calculator is in degree, not radian, eh? in degree. So, okay, uh, sine 17, and then plus 12.5, and you get, this is 14.0788. I maintain as many decimal places as possible. Okay, uh, so for accuracy purpose, uh, and then uh, for y component, the resultant fy it is uh, five point one six uh, four. Uh, so both of these are positive value, positive fx, positive fy. What does it mean? Uh, positive fx means the force is going to the going to the right. Positive fy means the force is going upward. Okay, so I can draw the resultant already. Uh, the resultant, uh, I can say is um, uh, the like this, like this, uh, going right, going upward. So uh, this, 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 the total fx going to the right. It is positive value, and this the total fy is also positive value going upward. So I want to find the resultant. Uh, the resultant total f. Total F. Later, I want to find the angle theta. Understand? Okay. So how to find this uh, total F? Uh, so just use the total F X uh, square it, and then total F Y also square it, uh, and then I can get uh, That means uh, square this, square this, and then plus together square root. You can get the answer. Okay. Fourteen point zero seven 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 eight eight. Uh, 0, 0788 square plus uh, 5 uh, sorry 5.164 square and then square root answer and my answer is 14.996 uh, 14.996 uh, which is almost equal to 15 which is almost equal to 15 yeah um 14.996 newton okay and uh, what's the direction uh, this is the magnitude only the magnitude of uh, the resultant force on q2 okay uh, yeah this is the magnitude of resultant force on q2 uh, yeah uh, on q2 uh, so uh, what's the direction so the direction of this resultant force of q2 
is um, you use tangent uh, we can use tangent theta okay tangent uh, let me okay tangent tangent theta equal to um, you know total fy over total fx uh, and then remember to anti tangent the answer anti tangent and the angle I get I got is um, you know total fy divided by total fx which is uh, this one divided by this one so let's calculate again 5.164 divided by uh, 14.0788 okay and then uh, let's calculate the angle uh, anti-tangent answer so I got the angle is 20 oops 20.14 20 uh, degree uh, and this one is above the above the positive x direction uh, you must write don't just give the angle you must give uh, above what axis uh, in reference to what axis uh, above the positive x axis uh, that's the answer okay that's the magnitude yeah the you know this is the the resultant force on q2 the magnitude of it uh, magnitude and then the direction is this one 20.14 degree above the positive x axis uh, is it correct let me see yes 40.99 newton okay 40.99 newton and then 20.1 20.1 20.14 uh, uh, above the positive x positive x is it correct positive x yes that's correct so my answer is correct 20.1 degree 20.1 degree so my answer is correct okay so that's the way to do the questions okay so very simple let's uh, brief it first you draw the force vector involved on on the charge mentioned on charge in focus draw the force on it look at it whether it's attractive force or repulsive force depending on uh, light charges or unlike charges uh, same sign or opposite sign okay once you got the draw the vector already now you determine the magnitude of each force uh, magnitude of each force once you got the magnitude of each force using the formula, uh, remember the ignore the sign negative sign on charge because you just want the magnitude. Uh, then we find the resultant vector, but resolve the vector first into x and y components. Okay, remember to use the positive negative sign to represent the direction of the force. Okay, uh, use the positive negative sign to represent direction of the force, and find the resultant in x, resultant in y. After that, we we uh, find the resultant. Uh, combine this x component, uh, total x and total y. Combine them, then we get the resultant force on the charge in focus. Okay. Also find the direction using tangent theta. Okay, and that's it. Yeah, for these questions. I hope you understand. And let's move on to the next video. Bye.